Now we all know how useful power bins and adjustment clips can be, but unfortunately in the minute you can't actually combine them. <laughs> Get out of here, because you can. Thanks to the 16.1 upgrade, you now can put adjustment clips within power bins. Super useful, saves you loads of time. So I'm gonna show you A, how to do it, as well as giving you a few quick examples as well. So let's get to it. Ooh. Oh, that was unnecessary, wasn't it? Ooh. So first things first, we need to enable the power bins and you do that nice and easy. Come to the top toolbar here and click on view and then scroll right down, you should see show power bins. Just give it a click to turn the tick on and then open your media pool. And from this left hand menu down here, you should now see power bins and master. So this is the power bin. This is where you store anything that you want synced across multiple projects. Now by default, as I say, you've only got one bin at the moment, which is the master. So I'll give that a click. And then you can see it's empty at the moment because anything we had would be stored in here. Now you can actually create multiple folders or multiple bins within the power bin. So to do that, we just right click anywhere in this empty space. I can add a bin and I can just call it whatever I want. I'm going to call this one adjustments. Now you can create as many of these as you want. For this example, we're just going to stick to adjustments. So we want to pop some adjustments in there for things that we do pretty much every project. Really useful if like me, you create YouTube videos and that sort of thing. So we're just going to open up the effects library, head down to the toolbox, open effects, and then we're going to grab an adjustment clip and drop it on the timeline. Now I'm going to show you a couple of really handy examples that you can use this for. So the first one, adjustment clip is on the timeline. I'm going to click on color to open the color tab. I'm going to make sure my adjustment clip is selected here. And then I can do some color grading. So maybe I just want to bump up the contrast a little bit. I'm going to apply this LUT here, which I've got already saved. Maybe I'm going to bring up my gain, do whatever you need to do. Then we're going to head back into the edit tab. And you can see that LUT has been applied. So then I can just give it a click on the timeline, open up my inspector. So just clicking on this button in the top right hand corner. And at the top here, you should see effect and name. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this one you go color and you can see the name will be reflected on the timeline then I'm just going to click hold my mouse and drag into the power bin so into this adjustments power bin and then release and then you can see we've got studio color and that's all ready to go so now if I just create a brand new project add some media let's add this clip here again pop it on my timeline rather than having to do all the color grading again from scratch my power bin is there, my adjustments folder is there. Give that a click. I've got my studio color ready to go. Pop that on my timeline and job done. Saves loads of time. Next one, I'm gonna grab another adjustment clip, pop it on here. You've seen those quick cuts to emphasize the thing that you're about to say. So this one's dead easy. Adjustment clip on the timeline, I'll give it a click. Open the inspector, mine's already open. And then I'm just gonna zoom in slightly about there. And that's it. Give this one a name, just put quick zoom. And now I hit play. And it'll just do a quick zoom in and I can readjust it, make it as long or as short as it needs to be. Pop that one in there. Perfect, ready to go. Next one, new adjustment clip, same as before. In the inspector, same as last time. I'm gonna come down to the cropping this time and I'm gonna crop the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to do 139 and 139. Click on the link above if you want to know why I choose those numbers. And there we go. We've got that cinematic black bar crop. If you love it or hate it, it's very common on YouTube these days. So there you go. Nice and easy. Ready to go. Give that one a name. Cinematic crop. Same process before. Pop that one over there. And you're ready to go. Another quick example I will show you before we go. In the toolbox, click on titles. I'm just gonna select a random fusion title. Let's go with a text ripple, whatever this one may be. Let's change the text and just put Mr. Alex Tech, or it'd be subscribe or thanks for watching or whatever it may be. And that's it, 
pop that into your power bin and it's there ready to go. Whenever you make a video, you need to pop that bit of text on there, shove it on there. It's already got Mr. Alex Tech and it's all ready to go. Now with titles, you can't actually name them from the inspector. So all you need to do, once you've dropped them within your power bin, like I've got my title text ripple here, give it a click so it's highlighted in red and then actually click on the title and you'll see it will be highlighted like this and then you can just over type it. So I can put Mr. Alex Tech title and there you go, job done. And that's it folks, I hope it was useful. If it was, thumbs up, comments, feedback down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Alex, I'll see you next time. Bye.